Hey everyone, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Today we're going to show you how to install a Tusk cargo hatch with the top rack on your Polaris Pro XP. Today we're in the shop working on our Pro XP. Now if you have one of these machines, chances are you're doing more aggressive driving and that's why you're gonna to wanna to weigh to keep some of your items from flying out of your bed. That's why we're installing the Tusk Cargo Hatch. Now this also has locks on it to help secure your items and you have the option to run it with a cargo rack as well if you want. Now with the cargo rack, what's cool with that, you can run a cooler with it and it actually comes with some straps to tie that down. Now, one other thing with this, it does come with some weather stripping to help keep the elements out. But if you want to guarantee that your items are going to be kept dry and dust free, you're going to want to run a dry bag. Now, with all that being said, installation for this is really simple. It's going to take you about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. To start out, you want to open all of the packaging, lay out all of your hardware in order and compare it to your instructions to make sure everything's there. So this is all of the hardware for the cargo hatch. We've also laid out everything for our top rack. So we have our hardware mounting brackets and the cooler straps. To get the cargo hatch installed, we need to remove four Torx screws that are in the back of our cargo bed. So we're gonna use a T40 Torx bit for that. And to get the bed out, you just need to pull up and out. Once you have the tub out, you want to bring it over to your workbench and we need to install the two brackets. So to get those installed, I'm going to put a straight edge on top of the bracket and this hook that's going to be facing inside of the tub. And we're just going to press this down right in this slot. These go in both slots right here towards the front of the tub. We'll just slide that down. And as soon as that straight edge hits the edge of the tub, that's where you want your bracket. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just gonna make two marks right in the middle of the top and bottom slot. And then we're gonna use our quarter inch drill bit to drill those out. And the reason you want it in the middle, you wanna be able to adjust this just a little bit to get the best fitment. And we'll do the same thing for the other bracket. So now to attach the brackets, we have our M6 by 16 millimeter button head bolts and the washer that's gonna go inside of the tub through the bracket, through the tub, and then we have the flange nut on the backside and all of this hardware is gonna be left loose until later step. So we'll do that in all four spots. Now we've got these four rubber inserts. They're gonna go in these four slots in the tub and you're just gonna push them in just until they're flush. Now I'm gonna set the cargo hatch in place. Now to install the hardware without the top rack, it's gonna be a slightly different process than with it. So we're gonna show you that first and then we'll show you how to do this with the top rack. To attach the cargo hatch to the cargo bed, we're gonna use these plate washers. Now you'll notice the holes are offset. They're only gonna go on one way. So the offset hole that's gonna to go towards the outside. Then we've got these M8 by 60 millimeter bolts. Those are going to go all the way through. And then on the bottom, we have the cup washers. So the hook side of the cup washer is going to face up and then the nylock nut goes on the very bottom.
For the front mounting locations, we're gonna take the M8 by 30 millimeter bolt. We'll go through that M8 washer, and then we're gonna thread it into the bracket that we just installed. And we'll do that on both sides. So with this hardware on top, I'm gonna to get it to where it's tight, and then I'm gonna back it off just a little bit. And then we're gonna do the final tightening on the mounting hardware brackets first. Then we'll go back through and tighten these and the four bolts on the side. Now when you tighten the mounts with the rubber plugs, just keep in mind you're just trying to compress the rubber a little bit so it doesn't come up. Now if you are installing a top rack, what you need to do with the hatch on top of the bed, we've got two different brackets. There's gonna be a left and right side and again, the holes, they're gonna be closest to the outside of the hatch. Then you're gonna have the bracket sticking up that's gonna face forward on both sides. We'll take two of the longer bolts. We're gonna go straight through those. And then on the other side, we have the two cup washers and nylock nuts. We've got the two spacers that came in the kit. We're gonna set those over the front two mounting holes. Then we can set the top rack in place. And we have the four small button head bolts that came in the kit. Those are gonna go through the side mounting locations. We've got the nuts on the back side. So with the top rack, you're gonna have two longer front mounting bolts that came with it. You're gonna use those along with the washers that just came with the hatch itself. We're gonna install those into the two front mounting locations. With everything loosely installed, you wanna get things to where they're almost tight, make your final adjustments, get it squared up, and then we're gonna start by tightening down the brackets first, and then these front two mounting bolts. After that, we'll tighten the hardware on the side of the top rack, and then we can tighten the mounting hardware for the brackets. Next, we need to set the cargo bed back into place on the machine. Just make sure you get the two front hooks in the correct spot. And then we've got the four mounting bolts in the back. For the middle two mounting bolts, you're gonna use the hardware that came in the kit along with the washer. And when you tighten these down, there's not a spacer in between here and the nut you're threading into. So just make sure you don't get these over tight. We've got those two original bolts on the outsides. Make sure you get all this stuff started before you do your final tightening.
That's how you install the Tusk cargo hatch with Top Rack on your Polaris Pro XP. If you have any questions about this install process, leave those questions down in the comments below. And if you need to pick one of these up, they're available on our website. So check that out and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.